Hey y'all and welcome to a crazy sock lady tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I do my pop of collar at the cuff. I've been doing this for goodness a couple of years now maybe. I can't remember when I first started doing this but this is a tutorial that's been requested so many times since I started so I thought this would be a great time to go ahead and do that. So you can see here I've done this on just a couple of socks here to show you and it's just a nice little touch at the start of your sock. Then if you want, you can go on, depending on you know how much yarn you have, to do it down at the heel as well. Or you can just use up a tiny little bit of scraps here for just a nice little touch of color on your sock cuff. So if you're using up tiny scraps, just a tip, weigh your yarn before you start, cast on, do the pop of collar like I'll show you here, then weigh your yarn after, and then that'll let you know how much yarn you've used for the pop of collar so that you can go, going forward, know how much you've used and you'll be set with knowing what you need to have for that pop of collar. Okay, so to do this, I have a sock started and I have cast on and done my ribbing, a knit two, purl two ribbing for two rounds. That's what I like for my pop of collar. You could do three rounds, four rounds, whatever you prefer, but I just like to do cast on, knit two, purl two for two rounds. And then I will show you what I do going forward. So I've got my next color right here. I'm gonna set these off to the side. I'm going to cut the color that I've used for the pop of color. Set that over there. And start with the color that I'll be doing for the rest of the cuff. One more purl stitch to do here. I had left that to do so that my marker did not fall off. All right. So we are ready to add in our main color for the cuff. I'm just gonna do that how I would start any project with any yarn. Just leave a long enough tail there and knit the first stitch. Now when I do my pop of color, I've done ribbing so far, and now I am going to do one plain knit round. What that is gonna do, let me pull one of these socks back up here. That is going to give you a nice crisp contrast there, a nice change. Otherwise you can pull some of that black into your pearl sections for the ribbing. So you can tell when you're looking at this, you can't tell that I've done a plain knit round as far as the, the ribbing looking broken or anything like that. It just is a nice crisp clean color change, which I prefer. So we are just gonna do one plain knit round, but I'm also gonna show you what I do with my ends. So there will also be a separate tutorial showing how I weave in my ends, um, but I'll show you here as well. So we have knit our first stitch, and like I said, we're just gonna be doing one plain knit round. So what I do to weave in my ends, because I've had some people who have done the pop of collar say, how do you deal with your ends? It can be a lot to handle right there, weaving in so many ends, because you've got your starting end and then the two ends from this collar change. So I actually do, it's kind of a variation of the Weave and Steven method for weaving in ends. And um, I first learned that from Steven West and then I've kind of tweaked it over time to make it work for me, knitting with it in the round for socks and changing you know how I do that. So anyways, I do that. And what I do for this first knit round here is take the contrast color and I am going to, I've got my, my needle is through the next stitch I'm going to knit. My main color I'm switching to is here. I'm going to take this contrast color and wrap it just around that main color once. I kind of hold it over here in my right hand and then knit the next stitch. Remember, we're just doing one plain knit round, so we're going in as if to knit. 
taking the tail of the contrast color, make sure you do not grab your starting tail. I have done that before. So make sure you grab the yarn from where these stitches ended and you cut the yarn, grab your tail, you're just wrapping it around once, knitting the next stitch. So I just continue to do that. I've done it as few as like eight stitches before. Sometimes I'll honestly just continue doing it until there is not much left of this. <laughs> so you're just sticking the needle in, safe to knit, wrapping the yarn around once, and knitting. So I'm just gonna continue doing this, knit across this round, and then I will show you how I do the next round and weaving that in there. Okay, I have knit one round plain and I am to one stitch before my marker. You want to come back to here and then we are going to deal with this end. So one stitch before the marker and I've got the main color that I switched to, this end here. And doing this one stitch before the marker is gonna help you close up any gaps that can form here. So on the first round, I always weave in as I go with the first collar there, the collar before, and then on the second round of the new collar is when I weave in the end from the new collar. So we are gonna stick our needle in as if to knit and wrap this contrast collar around at this point. Slip your marker, and then you are going to continue just like you did before with weaving in as you go with the contrast, um, but you're gonna be doing it with the main color on this round. And now with this round, we're doing our purling again, our ribbing. So we're going back to knit two, purl two for this round. So doing it, I've done two knit stitches. Now I'm ready to do a purl stitch. And the way that I wrap this around with a purl stitch is the same, but I don't stick my needle in first. So I keep the yarn in the back for a purl stitch, wrap it around, then move my yarn to the front and purl. Pull the yarn to the back, wrap it around, move it to the front, purl. Then we have two knit stitches, so I do as we did before. Then again for the purl stitches, yarn in the back, maybe. <laughs> Wrap it around to the front, purl. One more time, to the back, wrap it around to the front, purl. So that is how I do my pop of collar at the cuff. I'll just continue weaving in this end as I go for a little while longer and then finish off my cuff just like I normally would just do however many rounds you prefer and you have a nice little pop of color. You've dealt with your ends with the weaving in as you go. So you don't have to worry about that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for those of you that have wanted a tutorial for the pop of color at the cuff. And I hope you enjoy the little tip on weaving in your ends as you go. If you want a little bit more of a detailed tutorial on that, you can check out the weave in your ends as you go tutorial. I will link that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.